interesting facts about famous people. Dan Duryea Westerns. A favorite Western character actor, Dan Duryea, in his day, was one of the best. Today we will take a look at his Western movies. I'm taking a moment here to confirm my reference to the pronunciation of Dan Duryea, as I have taken some criticism of this in the past. Native of White Plains, New York, Dan Duryea took his first tentative steps toward a showbiz career at Cornell University. Of noir, the one and only Dan Duryea. And I'm looking forward to your comments on this one. If you enjoy this video, take a look at my channel for many more. The link is in the description. Along Came Jones, 1945, a Western comedy starring Gary Cooper, Loretta Young, William Demarest, and Dan Duryea as Monty Jared, an entertaining satire of Western movies. After robbing a stagecoach, the gunman, Monty Jared, Dan Duryea, is wounded and hunted with a thousand dollar reward. Meanwhile, the clumsy cowboy, Melody Jones, Gary Cooper, and his old partner, George Fury, William Demarest, ride through the wrong road and reach Painville. When the locals see the initials MJ on Melody's saddle and his appearance, he is mistaken as the dangerous criminal. Black Bart, 1948, a western directed by George Sherman, starring Yvonne DiCarlo, Dan Duryea, as the real-life cowboy bandit Charles Bolle, and Jeffrey Lynn, distributed by Universal International and produced by Leonard Goldstein, shot in Technicolor, also known as Black Bart Highwayman. The film was written by Lucy Ward, Jack Natford, and William Bowers. River Lady, 1948, a Western film directed by George Sherman, starring Yvonne DiCarlo and Dan Duryea. It was filmed on the Universal Studios backlot. In the 1870s, in a logging town on the Mississippi River, a conflict existed between the people of a mill town and the lumberjacks who worked down river. Romance and deceit are catalyzed by the arrival of the gambling river boat, River Lady, owned by a beautiful woman called Sequin. Winchester 73, 1950, a western directed by Anthony Mann, starring James Stewart, Shelley Winters, Dan Duryea, and Stephen McNally. The film is about the journey of a prized rifle from one ill-fated owner to another and a cowboy's search for a murderous fugitive. The first Western film collaboration between Mann and Stewart, the first of eight films they made together, and was filmed in black and white. Among the film's cast of supporting actors, Rock Hudson portrays a Native American and Tony Curtis plays a besieged cavalry trooper, both in small roles at the beginning of their careers. Al Jennings of Oklahoma 1951, a Western film directed by Ray Nazaro, starring Dan Duryea and Gail Storm, based on the story of Al Jennings, a former train robber turned attorney. The rambunctious youngest son of a family of lawyers turns against the justice system after the murder of his brother and becomes the leader of a notorious bandit gang. Ride Clear of Diablo, 1954. A Western directed by Jesse Hibbs, starring Audie Murphy, Dan Duryea, Susan Cabot, Abby Lane, Sheriff Fred Kenyon, Paul Birch, and lawyer Tom Meredith, William Pullen, conspired to have dancehall girl Kate, Abby Lane, entertain the hands of the O'Mara ranch whilst the sheriff and the lawyer rustle the O'Mara's stock. Tom shoots both the father and his teenage son to leave no witnesses. Rails into Laramie, 1954, a western directed by Jesse Hibbs and written by D. D. Beauchamp and Joseph Hoffman. The film stars John Payne, Mary Blanchard, Dan Duryea as Jim Shanessy, Joyce McKenzie, Barton McLean, and Ralph Dunk. A railroad sends an agent to Laramie to try to find out who is behind the efforts to stop the railroad from building its line into the area. Silver Load, 1954, a western directed by Alan Dwan, starring John Payne, Elizabeth Scott, and Dan Duryea as Fred McCarty. A similar plot to High Noon tells the story of Dan Ballard, John Payne, and Rose Evans, Elizabeth Scott, who are about to be married on the 4th of July when Marshal Fred McCarty, Dan Duryea, and his deputies ride into town looking for Ballard. 
Makati accuses Ballard of having murdered his brother and has come to arrest him. The Marauders, 1955, a western directed by Gerard Mayer, starring Dan Durier as Avery, Jeff Richards, Keenan Wynn, and Jama Lewis. Avery, who wears a Confederate Army uniform even though he didn't serve in the Civil War, demands that the men who work for rancher John Rutherford avenge him after Rutherford is killed, trying to remove a squatter, Corey Everett, from his land. Night Passage, 1957, a western directed by James Nielsen, starring James Stewart, Audie Murphy, and Dan Durier as Whitey Harbin. Railroad tycoon Ben Kimball, Grant McLean rescues a young boy, Joey Adams, from Concho. Ben tells Grant that his payroll has been robbed three times by a gang led by Whitey Harbin and the Utica Kid. If Ben's workers don't get paid soon, they will all leave the end of track work camp. Over the objections of Kimball's number two, Jeff Kurth, Grant accepts the undercover job of carrying $10,000 to the crew by train. Kurth bets his job that Grant will fail. Please take time to take a look at my Facebook page for new information.